Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go ahead and check out Gold Hand 2.1. Uh, it's just been released today. There is a few features that uh, are pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the video. Let's go over to our settings. As you can see, I don't have Gold Hand options, and I don't have the debug settings. We'll go up to our network, and just make sure that we do have a check to connect to the internet. Um, and after that, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and launch our browser. Do the usual. Close the first window. Go ahead and delete all. Go into our browser history. Clear that as well. And then we'll go into our settings and delete our cookies and clear our website data. Now we'll go into our bookmarks. So I'm going to be using Chameleon's Host. So we'll go ahead and select it. Give it a few moments here. It does install the cache right at the beginning. Um, but once that's done, we can go ahead and jump into Chameleon 9004.6. And we'll give that a few moments here to install the cache. It doesn't take long, as you can see. There's only a few payloads, a couple of gold hens, and uh, maybe the bin loader, I believe it is. Yeah, bin loader, and then the three gold hens. So we're going to go with the latest gold hen, which is 2.1. Go ahead and select it says 20 or 30 seconds, but earlier when I did it, it was like uh, 10 seconds that popped up to insert the USB. So it shouldn't take too long. Okay, that's about 10 seconds there now. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and insert our USB. And we'll wait for the message to come up on supported file system. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And jailbreak is done, so we can go ahead and remove our USB, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now, I've already been on here, and I've already configured uh, Goal 10 with its options, so the FTP server and the bin loader will load. So we'll go ahead and just hit our PlayStation button. As you can see, they're both popping up as well. Uh, if we go into our settings, go up to our Goal 10, you can see that they are checked. Um, it does remember it now. If we go into the About, and uh, go to the about goal 10. As for the features, there's nothing changed there, I don't think. Uh, I haven't noticed anything that changed. But if we go down to the change log, this is what has been changed. So it's added a config file into the data goal 10 config INN, INI. Um, <coughs> as for what's in it, I haven't really looked. Um, I know that the FTP server and the uh, bin loader server, whether they're checked or not, obviously has been added to it. Um, but other than that, there I haven't checked the config file, so I'm not sure exactly what's in it. Um, added K log server on 3232 port and improved rest mode support. So, what we're going to do is we're going to give a rest mode a test. Um, so, we'll go ahead and just hit our power option and we'll go into our rest mode. Now, it does take a little bit to go down into rest mode, but uh, I think this is a valuable test. Um, I know that we a lot of people say that the rest mode doesn't work, or a lot of people say it works fine. Um, a lot of people use rest mode. They'd rather just go into rest mode and not have to worry about doing the jailbreak each time, because if you go into rest mode and then come out of rest mode, goal 10 is already loaded, so there's no need to do the USB trick anymore. Um, but once the system does power off, then you need to go ahead and do the jailbreak again. And, yeah. So I do have a flashing amber light. Um, it should go solid any moment now. Okay, so it went solid. I'm going to go ahead and hit the PlayStation button on the controller. I did hear the beep, and I do have a blue light. It should start pulsing. And... There we go. So it's going to start pulsing now. Give it a few minutes here just to load everything up. And we should see the login screen. There we go. Blue screen. And there's our login. Go ahead and hit echo stretch. The FTP server should be enabled. And the bin loader server should pop up as well. There's our FTP. And there's our bin loader server. So let's go over to our settings. Go up to our goal 10 options. We can see that they are still checked, which is good. Let's go ahead and just launch a game just to see if uh, everything's working on there. I did read somewhere that uh, when goal 10 launches now, 
Uh, one of the first few things it does is remove all the locks on the icons. Um, I know it did take a little bit before, but you could still open the game, just the locks were just there. So it seems that that issue has been fixed because I don't see any locks. But yeah, let's go ahead and launch a game. We'll go ahead and launch Dying Light 2. Okay, so it seems to be opening fine with no issues. Um, yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Uh, just want to jump on, give it a test. There's lots of hosts out there you can use, uh, but Chameleons works fine. I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and check out his host. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.